actually. Hi everybody, welcome to Vegan Kitchen TV. I'm Selena. I'm Eric. I'm Megan. <laughs> so I have action down. <laughs> and uh, all of it now, the hand Woo! is behind the camera tonight. And we have Miss Shelly Lynn, our beautiful hot mod, uh, in the chat room. She will be keeping you guys in line and giving you important up-to-the-minute information. So, <laughs> and there I am. And I'd like to thank Maverick for this wonderful apron that he sent me off my wish list today. Perfect for Vegan Kitchen TV. And then we have Megan in the Monkey from Rainbow Grocery, an all-time San Francisco favorite, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, <the> rainbow. <laughs> All right. So today we are doing do, 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 do. our feature is rivenrock.com cactus. So we are making two cactus dishes today, and they are USD all organic. And Megan, can you be our lady with the news? I'm, I'm taller. And shorter. Um, yes, ribbonrock.com. They are cactus people and they have been organically certified since 1993. And um, they have several types of edible cactus. And um, all you need to know about the cactus is that it's not scary. You just need gloves. Gloves. We have cute pink ones. So we had to match today. You need gloves. You need a scrubbing pad. Dun, dun, dun. Could you get them into the view? Otherwise, I have to like throw everything. Well, back you, and can, you can. You can. Well, maybe zoom out. I'll move over this way. Okay. You can't see them. Okay. The okay. scrubby pad. Okay. And a paring knife. And a paring knife. And a paring knife. All right. Knife. And I'm not so sure this is a paring knife, but this is a knife that I have. It's a so, beautiful knife. It's a cool knife. And they have a video at rivenrock.com that shows you how to prepare it. So if you miss it now, you can see it then. Mm -hmm. And um, there are several grades of cactus that grow throughout the year. And different people have different uses for them. Some like the total gourmet thing with perfect leaves. And some like to use them cut up for soups and stews or to feed to tortoises or iguanas. And cactus, I didn't know this, has the perfect calcium and phosphorus ratio for bone and shell development. That's pretty cool. Um, so there's different grades. They go from grade A to grade D. And we'll show them off here. So grade A is for the total gourmet people. Mm -hmm. And they're only available five months of the year in the summertime. And they are perfect leaves, and they get packed in tissue paper between each layer so they get to you as beautiful and perfect as possible. And they cost a little more. Grade B is kind of like grade A, but they don't use so much tissue paper, and they're a bit cheaper. But they still have really nice leaves, but a little less perfect than grade A. Both grade A and grade B are for the gourmet people, and they're not recommended for regular people. Are we regular or are we gourmet? Tonight, a little bit of everything. <laughs> regular people are those who just want good cactus to eat. Um, grade C is our best use for the everyday home cook. And they're a little bit bigger. And restaurant and health food store people seem to like these too. They are more reasonably priced, and their leaves are easier to clean. I like that. <laughs> and um, it's available nine months out of the year. And grade D, is that grade D? It's like a huge, gigantic, old-school <laughs> cell phone. Uh, they are great for soups and stews and tortoises. Um, Can we get a close-up on that? We only saw the side on that, the profile on it. And here's another... It's like a big ear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's one more thing that they tell us about cactuses. That cactus has a reputation for helping control diabetes, but they don't often mention that because they're not doctors. But you can find a lot of antidotal stuff on the net about cactuses and health. Yes. And that's the end of my news report. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate all of your information. 
So, today we are making cactus salsa and we are also making stuffed battered pan fried cactus. So, the uh, couple things like with the battered pan fry, we are doing this batter for the first time and I'm combining two different recipes. It's also gluten free and uh, as a vegan gluten free and uh, vegan when it comes to batter is like a big thing so I'm very excited about this we'll see how it turns out and the reason why I've decided to do it live for the first time is any problems that you might run into at home we can like figure out here together as one big happy vegan people <laughs> 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 so um, with the salsa I shall present now these came with the cactuses the little flyers here and they have all kinds of information in here, including nutrition values. Wait, let's see the cover on that again. Oh, okay, let's see the packaging. Yeah. yeah, and it has salsa recipe and like pictures on how to clean it and all kinds of stuff. So we are going to give Eric the recipe to read for Great. the salsa. So for the cactus salsa, we will be combining one pound of diced cactus two cans of diced tomatoes, three pickled or fresh jalapeno poppers, peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I've been eating at Chili's too much. Uh, three pickled or fresh jalapeno peppers. Which are we going with, pickled or fresh? Fresh. So we're using fresh jalapeno peppers, not, not poppers. poppers. Uh, three cloves or more of garlic, uh, half a medium onion, one can of black beans, one can of sweet corn, actually, oh, the corn instead of doing a can of sweet corn. Um, I don't do canned anything, except the beans, so, that smells good. <laughs> mm. This is, we're actually going to make this, this is homemade roasted corn, and we're going to show you how to do this instead of using canned corn, because I'm not going to spend all this time and make awesome salsa and use canned corn. So, this is something special that we're bringing tonight. Uh, we're going to be adding cumin and cilantro to taste. I'll probably leave the cilantro out because the hand, we can put the cilantro in later, the hand does not like cilantro. Ah. Uh, an eighth of a cup of olive oil. Especially the mouth. <laughs> the hand's mouth is not in the cilantro. Two dashes of salt, they're very specific about that. Uh, some ground black pepper. Uh, and a quarter cup of shelled pumpkin seeds. So that's it. We're just going to get all that together and mix it all up and make Keep a salsa. Okay, so who's got corn duty? I'm not on corn duty. Anybody? Apparently so we can. Am. Okay, so can you please shuck the corn, Eric? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll shuck it. You should start at the top, since it's already cut. So we are shucking corn. Not the same as cracking corn, right? Exactly. So how are we doing so far, guys? Any questions? Alrighty, so. Now, I got some special stuff for making the roasted corn salsa. I say first preheat your oven at about 325 degrees to 350. We have the mysterious oven as we have gone over in um, previous shows. In so great we, detail. <laughs> so we kind of just guess what we're cooking things at. <clears throat> so, let's see. How are we doing over there? He's we're good. Soaking. I'm getting rid of the silk. Okay. And I'll rinse it off. I'm getting silk on the floor. Sorry about that. It's kind of like summer. There's corn shucking happening. <laughs> it's it's cold and foggy outside. But it's summer in here. <laughs> yes, it is. We're roasting corn. We are. All right. So, a nice way to keep your corn from going everywhere stick it in a Tupperware container as I cut it off the cob. I am not responsible if you decide to lose any fingers <laughs> in this process. So 
man. <laughs> Normally this works. Earlier the porn did not go anywhere. Right now it is covering. This is her. a lively, lively <laughs> era of porn. Very lively. <laughs> it is. So this is the way you start to make your roasted corn. This really sucks. Earlier it went so nice. Why is it when you're live? When stuff goes everywhere. So you cut it off very carefully. Not too um you know what it is? Can you please move that chopping block? Do not cut above a chopping block because it makes your Tupperware move around. So, oh, would you guys like to prepare some of the other sauce? Yeah. While we do this, because I feel like this is a horrible waste of time. We have jalapenos, we have tomatoes, we have onions. As you can see, uh, we're still new over here at, um, at, uh, Come on. And uh, the show. So we're going to have these guys start prepping the salsa. Let me get you a bowl. Where's the bowl? We have four different kinds of tomatoes. Um, yellow, red, um, like the funky looking ones that look like this. And then we have ones that are kind of green and orangey colored. So there's garlic. Yep. It smells so good. And there's avocados. So are we just putting all this in a bowl and mixing it? Um well, we cut the avocados, right? Well the avocados aren't gonna go until later. Okay. I think we might even do them like a little on the side. So we you guys have the recipe right, right. there. Right, right. So we are going to follow that recipe. So that comes with the cactuses. Um, it doesn't really say what to do with it. Okay. I well, bet we put it in the bowl. <laughs> so yeah, we need we need to dice a bunch of cactus though. Okay, so first I want to do we what grade we do we want to use for this? I don't know. I'm torn. Should we use? I lost the room. What grade should we use for the? Um, well, we definitely want grade A, I would think, for the stuffed ones, right? Mm-mm, because no. they're going to fall apart. Okay. I'm thinking, like, C. So A and B for this, then, right? Because mm -hmm. we're making two dishes. Okay. Yes. So. So we need a pound of this. Mm-hmm. This is quite a bit in here. This is about a pound. Mm-hmm. And would you like to be in charge of the cleaning? We're going to put Eric in charge of the cleaning because he has sounds no fear of cactus. Amazing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take care of the jalapenos because they're not poppers. <laughs> so we will let you do the cleaning. And do you want to do the cleaning on camera? I need the, uh, I need the, the gloves. Okay. He's going to use the pink gloves. He's going to use the pink gloves. Oh man, I almost brought, I have a pink stuff. Oh. Aww. So, Eric is going to start the cleaning. We'll clean one on camera. I should have cleaned them already. And here's your little knife. Cool. Now with the corn, I have it all. How many peppers is it? Um, Eric has the directions. With the corn, this is uh, one year. And then what we are going to do it, is... This doesn't really say, it just gives you a list of ingredients. You can do as many as you want. There's serenos and jalapenos in there. Okay. The small ones are serenos. I like, or serenos, I always say it wrong. Um, we like to do two different kinds of pepper to evenly disperse the amount of fire on your tongue because jalapenos and serenos, they both um, heat different parts of your tongue. So, so to clean this, can you tell me what to do? Oh, up there. yeah. You, um, you go and scrub it down mm -hmm. with this pad mm -hmm. and then we'll start pure, um, cutting off the edges when you bring it back over. But they have a video, I watched the video on it. It definitely says that a fresh cactus leaf should be cleaned of any spines before attempting to eat it. That That's sounds like right a really yeah, good so idea. Eric is going to clean them because we don't want any, um, uh, <laughs> we don't want to be feeling our cactus after we've eaten it. Um, oh, I have something funny to say. When I first opened the box of cactus, cactus um, so I used to live in Florida and I used to ride my bike in places. Those are two serenos and one jalapeno. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good to you. Sounds great. Hey, can I try something real quick? Just need to take this out so we can get a closer. Okay. The hand is doing stuff. So, I'm going to wash peppers. Alright, I hope, I hope I'm doing this right. 
Okay, we're still on. Cool. Okay, we're still on. I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. We'll do one over here. Okay, so we're going to give me more. Um, yeah, we need all of them in the A-B thing. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Um, so, with, there's a jalapenos. And with the corn, I bought special olive oil. I bought jalapeno infused olive oil. Oh, where did you get that? I got it at Rainbow. Nice. Now, to make the roast of corn, what I'm using here is vegan vegetable bouillon. And, oh, this camera, okay, vegan vegetable bouillon. This bouillon. Is bouillon. This is awesome stuff. And um, what you do for this is, they come in cubes like this. This is one cube. For per, per ear of corn, I'm going to use a third of a cube. You can go more or less for your, your flavor preferences. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And what I'm going to do is share the board over here with Megan. And I just chopped it up real thin because it is a little wet. And pick it up. And I haven't put this just the corn right now that I cut off the top. And I kind of just sprinkle it over it. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of garlic powder and I just evenly disperse it, lightly letting it fall. Okay, fresh ground pepper. And I just, this is to taste. If you like a lot of pepper, use a lot of pepper. Um, remember that your olive oil, if you use the jalapeno or infused olive oil, is going to be very spicy. So then for the olive oil, I just lightly drizzle with this. As much as you want or as little as you want. And then I mix it up with my hands to really get the bouillon. Bouillon or bouillon, Eric? Bouillon. Bouillon, bouillon, mixed in as well as possible. So it's a little greasy. The hands are going to be a little in. Eh. Do not touch your face until you wash your hands after this. Anything to do with spicy pepper. And then I take, I used this earlier. So I take a can of slime with foil. Just stick it right in here. I mean, I use my hands for a lot of stuff when I cook. Some people can, if you don't want to use your hands, I say you can use a spoon. But honestly, I think using my hands gets, gets it all in better. So, we go and I spread it out just like this. Nice and thin and even. And you can still see how you can still see the salt, like pieces here, little bits of bouillon. It's okay because it's already on it. And then I put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. We'll see how long it actually takes. I like it to be a little bit like burnt, as you can see with the stuff we have that's already done, because it helps the salt to taste like super yummy. So, in the oven it goes. And now, back to Megan. I'm going to cut peppers. <laughs> <laughs> that was gross. Totally amazed by the corn there. Oh, and you can eat the corn raw, just like that. In fact, Megan, do you want to try it? Sure. Okay. I like corn a lot. I do too. This corn's awesome. I've it's successfully good. cleaned the cactus mm. without stabbing corn. anybody. Yay! Okay, hand. Would you like to try the corn? Spicy. <laughs> Hands busy. Hold the camera. Okay. I just want to feed it. Okay, so the hand is going to eat hand it. Hand has a mouth. Ooh! <laughs> and the floor does too. Wow, it's pretty good. It is good. So, you're offline. We're offline. We are? We're offline. Oh shit, start broadcast. Check. When do we go offline, I wonder? Are we back on? It's, are we back on now? We're back on now. I think we didn't miss all our jokes. I think we did. Uh oh.
So are we back on now? Five, well, no. five minutes ago? Five minutes ago. We missed all that. Oh. What did we miss? The corn. Did when I, miss, I think when I switched over the camera. I switched over the camera. Because like I need that extension. You were talking about infused olive oil. That was a while ago. Oh, oh we missed God. the corn. Okay, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I think Mercury is in retrograde. It hates me today. <laughs> All right, so this is what happens when you do live versus um not live. <laughs> Cactus man. Okay, so um, I'm gonna like lightly describe what I just did because this is already fully seasoned. So we cut the corn off the gum. It was in there. <laughs> It was in here. I took this jalapeno-infused olive oil, and we drizzled it just like this. See how I'm just like putting so. an even amount like that? And um, depending on how spicy you want it is how much of this you want to use, because this is very spicy. Hey, Megan? Yes, it is spicy. Okay. So, and then we took one-third cube. Uh, Did you underscore the importance of washing hands before going to the bathroom when handling <laughs> any kind of jalapeno or anything? <laughs> well, we talked about not touching our faces. Okay, so yes. The bathroom is really important too. Okay, so this is our vegetable vegan bouillon, which we're going to use on the corn. We cut. Did we already. Did you guys get this yet? Just Selena showed the corn in the box. Okay, so where's the cube? So then we cut a third of it off. So we're going to cut another third of it off. <laughs> and what we also did is we put it here on our cutting board. And we chopped it up. Like this. Like so. Like so. It really sucks that the camera went out. But oh well. Alright, so we chopped it Yeah, but it this off. is much better camera work though than, than the stagnant one. But not porn. <laughs> Sorry. So we chopped. I think it's a much more interesting show though. Before I could tell. Okay. Feed the ham the bouillon. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then what we did is we took this over our corn that was in here, and we went like this. Like so. Yes, just like that. But you do that first before you put in the oil. And there was corn in there. <laughs> there was corn in here. So then we took the garlic powder and we went over it just like this very lightly or as much to taste like that over the corn we have the emperor's corn everybody <laughs> so and then this is um again your oil is very spicy so you can do your ground black black pepper to taste so we went like this over the corn about that amount and then I stuck my hands in here and we mixed up all the corn until it was very well port, um, coated. As you see, the bouillon doesn't necessarily break up a ton, so you can kind of just mush it up around the corn. It'll help break it up a little bit. And then wash your hands. Because the spicy oil is going to burn if you touch anything. So now that we've washed our hands. What was that like? Tasty. Was that a plain corn? It was pretty plain. And so then we took our emperor's corn and we dumped it on our foil sheet. And suddenly there was corn. The corn there was appeared. corn. So this it has the bouillon, bouillon, the jalapeno oil, the ground black pepper, and the garlic powder. And the oven is at an estimated of 325 degrees. And when we put it into the oven, we like to have the corn, when it comes out, a little bit burnt, like on some of it, because it helps the spices and oils to really settle in. And it makes it really amazing for salsa, because you don't want squishy salsa. So we're going to pop this into the oven. It's say about 20 minutes, but we'll see how long it actually takes. It varies on your oven's heat. And now, back to Megan. I'm cutting, I'm cutting peppers. And I'm going to wash my hands after. I washed them before, too, because um, they're spicy. These are serrano peppers. And then this is a pretty jalapeno pepper. I picked it because it's red and funny shaped. It was the only red one I saw at the store, and I had to get it. It's very cute. Go for it, Megan! It's a mutant. It is. We don't have to. We can clean that piece separately if we want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting.
cut it in kind of small because I'm a fan of getting some pepper in most bites of the salsa. I hope you guys are too. Yeah. I don't like it when you get like a gigantic piece of pepper and then you're like, whoa! If it's nicer when it's a little more even. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here while Megan is going to town here with these peppers. She's going to. Going to town, girl. It's going to be spicy salsa. Mmm. Well, I like spicy. How about you, Eric? Yeah. How about you, Han? You say. Your hand doesn't have much to say. Any questions for the room? Let's see. We've made salsa before, but we've never made cactus salsa. So while Megan is cutting, I'm going to stick our tomatoes into the bowl. And I'm just going to use my hands because using my hands is what I do. <laughs> They're clean. We've washed them multiple times today. Especially after the peppers. Yes. Howie, which camera are we on? Okay. All right. So do we still have signal? Did we check? Do we still have signal? I haven't made my own. Let's see. So, like I said, we I'll have... I'll signal. Okay. We get signal. Like I said, we have multiple types of tomatoes in here. I mainly did it to make them pretty because I oh, like the fact... That it, it's, we have really red ones, we had these strange orangey green ones, and then there was yellow ones. And I also like to take advantage of what we have for the summertime. So I am going to steal Megan's peppers. Yeah. Do you think that's too many? I mean, so I think pretty we hot. don't need to use all of them. Okay. But I wanted to get a mix. mix in. And okay. I, I didn't know you were going to use jalapeno infused olive oil. Oh, no, there's none of that. In, oh, well, it's in the, yeah, yeah. it's in the corn. So, so I wouldn't use all of them. Okay. Well, we will let you be the judge. No, you should be the judge of that. Okay. I'm not going to take responsibility for the over hot spots. Salsa. Yeah. So we're going to do this right now. This is really to taste. And serranos, I don't know if any of you guys have ever eaten them before. They are hot. Yeah, they are hot. They are hot stuff. So now what we're going to So do... hot right now. <laughs> we need a little of that in San Francisco because it's cold outside. Yes, it is. So now we're going to go for the cacti. We can put them, I guess it doesn't matter if we stick, I don't have a, hand. can you reach behind you into the pantry please and grab a little lid. So, the cacti. Oh, I, I, you guys didn't get to hear my um, story about when I first it's opened... Over. When I first opened the box of the cacti, I used to live in Florida, and not they, they grow wild. Um, these are prickly pears, but they're not nearly as nice as these. And so I, uh, I once fell off my bike, and I landed in a field. Well, it probably wasn't a field, but there was a patch of cacti, and the stems can get about, spines can get about this long on these guys. The one went into my ankle. We have other various spots that they went into. It took me most of the day to get the cacti out of me. So when I first opened these bo the box of this, you know some people go <gasps> when they see like a snake or a lizard. I've seen the look many of times with Iggy. That's the reaction I had when I opened the box. I'm like, oh, childhood nightmare memories. <laughs> so now we're going to eat them and we're going to love them. So, without further ado. Or you could do, put a different spin on that. Okay. Maybe you're getting revenge on the cacti from your childhood by eating them. That's right. Eric, why are you vegan? Because I hate plants. <laughs> okay, so now I watched the YouTube video that RibbonCactus.com kindly prepared for us. And um, this is I keep thinking of Rivendell, which is like uh, a mythical land in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So these are grade A. They cut off the bottoms just like this. That sounded really nice. Did you hear that nice, clean... And then they went along the edges. Trying not to waste any of the cacti. Just like this. And we'll have their presentation on the site. So there we go. And now we're just going to chop them up for salsa. I'm going to use a big knife. Does the water turn off? Yes, it's very funky. You have oh, I got to. It. It's going to be a little bit fuller. I am not a chef, 
Watch your fingers when you do this at home, guys. I have had no prior training. Oh, and if you have any spots on your hands that are um, slightly damaged when you start cutting jalapenos and stuff like that, you will be aware of them. Now it says a pound of diced. Right. That's an awful lot. Yeah, it is. So you're going to be busy for a while here. Yeah, unless we team up on it. Because we have more than one knife. Anybody want to team up on cutting cactus with me? Sure. Okay. I'll cut you. Okay. Or you can start cutting and we can start moving on to... The how, how much are we using all of this? Yeah. I think everyone's afraid of you in that knife. Why don't you... Um, I pair and you... You pair and I'll chop. Okay. I think I can... Look. I'm going to try to put the camera down over there. Okay. We'll take it. And you want to look at the room and see if oh, anybody... Maybe talking. we'll be talking to the room. I, uh, I am. Yeah. Get over here yeah, you can get it. Do you read those little things that are coming up right now? If anybody has any questions? Gotcha. Yeah. What are we doing? He's going to move the camera there while, while I take the camera up here because we're going to get ready for the shot. On okay. The, on the pan. On the pan. Okay. So right now we are still making the salsa. I probably should have prepped more of the cactus and uh, I don't know why I didn't. Sorry guys for uh, the delay here. There is a question about the texture of the, of the cactus. Cacti. It is, when I'm cutting, it is outside I would say is very firm. It's kind of like aloe. Would you guys agree? Yeah, it's kind of got the slimy aloe-like feel. The inside sort of soft. Um, the outside feels like a peel. Uh -huh. I would compare it a lot to, to aloe. That's where I'm at right now. How about you, Eric, Megan? I, I think it feels like aloe. It's very pretty. It is pretty. The color is great. Yes, this will take a we while. We don't know what it tastes like yet. You can try that piece. Here. Really? Can you eat it raw? Uh-huh. Oh, it's going in the salsa. All right. Hmm. It's I'm, actually nice. It's good. Yeah. It is good. It's really mild. It's crispy. Cool. Check out that new camera angle. It almost has a lemony taste. Yeah, I would say that. It's zesty. Mm -hmm. But not too zesty. It's going to be good in the salsa. Yeah. It does taste fresh, shall we? Okay. So, here we go, Eric. We are tag teaming these cacti. Woo! And I think Howie's in the. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice shirt there. Yeah, because Eric just did something awesome, but we needed to read that there was no place like home. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Well, you guys are chopping up stuff, right? All right, so okay. this is a little bit crazy. Wait, would you like to do this while I yeah, start yeah. to tap the batter? As yeah. I'm chopping this, there's like these weird, like, goopy... Ooh. I don't know if you can zoom in and see this. It's the slime. Yeah, it's, 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 no it's, slime. it's slimy. Ooh, I see it. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. I've only ever made tacos with them, and then when you cook them... They kind of are like slimy. They taste good, but. Can everybody see the glistening slime? So, um, Mikey, Mikey Four says she's sexy in the glasses. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, welcome everyone. I'm gonna, I'll have the um, recipes and everything up online. So, right now, I am. Going to combine two okay. different recipes to try to make our gluten free vegan bread. Um, one is for. Selena, you might want to move the mic over here. Okay. One, one is for beer Someone battered onion rings. Take the mic over. Okay. Take the mic. One is for beer battered onion rings, so we're stealing half of it. It says one cup of garbanzo bean flour, three wow. fourths cup of gluten free beer, which we are not going to be using, um, which I was thinking about using, but I don't drink. You so. Wanna? Huh? Oh, this one. Okay, so I don't drink, so we're not going to be using that one. Um, a tablespoon of sea salt, 
and then um, a bottle of oil of your choice for pan frying, which I picked up canola oil. The other recipe I grabbed is actually for the stuffed prickly pears. So this for stuffed prickly pears. So we are going to be doing three large leaves, uh, prickly pear cactus petals, mm -hmm. cleans and spines, and orchards removed. Um, orchards. Orchards. G L O C H I D I S. Um, I'm assuming they were something else that were on the plant that didn't come <laughs> with it. Um, let's see, one eighth medium white onion, two a half of a garlic clove peeled and diced. Hey, can you? Face huh. the camera more when you speak. All right, so it's just well, better. It's this. more interesting. I mean, you can turn okay. the laptop, probably. All right, so and it also says to use um, oh, in this me. particular recipe. Mm -hmm. It says to use um, you know, egg, like a little bit tangy. But instead of egg, what we're using is egg replacer. Let me give you that one. So okay, thank you. So we're going to be using egg replacer instead of. Um, one and one half eggs, and it says to taste. Sort of sophisticated water. modification. Yeah, the stuff is awesome. It's gluten free and vegan, as that's what we are trying to go for here today. I'm sure you guys who are vegan and gluten free have seen this in your um, grocery store. There we go. Shelly Lynn says that's the egg replacer I use. Awesome. So we are going to get going on this um, experiment. Oh, and then the flour that I decided to use is gluten-free garbanzo bean and fava flour. Fava. Mm -hmm. It says a pound. Okay. <laughs> it says a pound. <laughs> so I'm going to get uh, a big symbol because I was going to use there for the salsa. Oh, oh, cat <laughs> I watched Rango last night. Oh, it's, Rango. Rango. it's a CGI kitten movie that Johnny Depp plays a lizard in. Okay, how was that? It was actually pretty good. There's a couple of like fear and loathing in Las Vegas references and It's about controlling the water and you control the people. But there's a couple of cacti scenes as well. The obligatory fall on a cactus. Very right, out of mixing water. Like the bachelor life over here. The bachelorette. So, um, just to show you how to do where they're bigger. You don't need fancy to get going on this. Not uniform. How are we doing, guys? It's good. It's good, yes. I just got speared in the head by a <laughs> unicorn. That wasn't very good. Besides that, we're all. Uh, all right, so let's. We're going to add the roasted corn over here. <laughs> Did we put garlic in? No, that's Not in. Not quite yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. So, how are we doing? Any questions, guys? No, are we just mixing this up? Like cooking the salsa? No, not the salsa. The salsa can be for chips or also for garnish of um, the rest of the cactus we're making. Okay, so I'm going to prep the other leaves, the C grade leaves, for our um, stuffing. Yeah. I'll, uh, if you want, I can chop this. Yeah, you got the cutting knife. Yeah. <laughs> I have a paring knife. You're on this camera now. Okay. So, if you guys see these guys, I'm going to check on the corn. Whoop! That would be fun. The corn is getting there. It's getting there. It smells awesome, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, we'll have more corn for the salsa. So, these are our grade C cacti. And again, we'd like to thank Riven. You do have a video monitor too, right? Riven. So you can see where, you look, where the camera range is. No, I don't. You don't? No. Okay, it's over there. Okay. Okay, so this is, thank you again to Riven Rock for sending these to us. We really appreciate it. Um, we're having a lot of fun with these so far. 
Wow, great to see. See, they have little scratches on them, they're a little bit bigger. Um, we're going to clean these off. And the gentleman that I spoke to on the phone, which is Dave, I think, I don't know where the yellow piece of paper went, and um, he was explaining to me about how the cacti, is, they turn sideways in the heat of day to, like this, to um, shade themselves from the sun where some of the leaves on the outside will take the brunt of the heat and the rest of them will turn sideways to avoid any damage. And then also, um, most plants open up in the daytime for their exchange of oxygen and uh, carbon. And these guys do it at night. Cool. Yeah. It was actually really beautiful listening to him talk and explain how um, the cacti like lives and breathes. And he was saying um, how he's had a plant psychic come out. A plant psychic? Yeah. Wow, what is a plant psychic? It's someone who comes and tells you how your plants feel about you and what they like. And I would like to live where these cactuses live. They have a nice piece of land that uh, has a canyon in the back. And Switch they are, camera angle. They are six miles from the ocean. And so he was describing the fog rolling in to the canyon and up over the cactus while they have this view of the ocean. And the cactus like that. Yeah, happy cacti. They said they, said they love it. Happy cacti. We're eating happy cacti. It tastes real, pretty amazing, this raw cacti. What? Playing with happy plants. Huh? I was asking Eric if he was okay with happy plants. Especially when I murder them. <laughs> He's killing the cacti. How do you feel, hands? Um... Neutral. Neutral. Boom. <laughs> All right, and there's a big wooden spoon there. Let's mix. We're gonna do Let's that. Let's jam. Oh, do we want do we want um any onions in our salsa at all? Because we have onions that are prepared. Already. Well, what's in the recipe? Um, you have the recipe somewhere over there. It's on the ribbon catalog. Where's the catalog go? We had it. Hmm. Where you, someone was showing it to the camera. Did we eat it? We ate it. I have the yellow piece of paper. Oh, it's got the uh, gentleman's name on it that has the font. Here's the player. It is John. This is a half a medium Dennis. onion. Half a medium onion. Yep. Where's your onion? Right there. Half of it. I feel like Julia Child. <laughs> I feel like Frank Zappa. <laughs> Frank Zappa, I went to Beloit College in Beloit, Wisconsin, and Frank Zappa said that Beloit was the sound that a quarter made when it fell in the toilet. <laughs> That's cute. Three cloves or more of garlic. Woo! Right there. That is a whole head of garlic. So, How much do you want? Uh, I like garlic. What do you think? Um, I had a little space out there, and I didn't see <laughs> where you put it. I was thinking about the kids' show Zoom. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Do you remember that show? I don't. So I have now scrubbed and cleaned. One which, can black beans. Which we drained earlier. Jeepers. What's what we do is we part way open up oh, the. Check, sorry. check out the slime. It's so cool. <laughs> it's good slime. <laughs> it's gelatinous. One whole can? Wow. There's a can of black beans. How are these corns stored? Almost. And that is not hot water. <laughs> um, so the cacti, that's nice to that. Oh, okay. okay, so when I cleaned it to go over our cleaning, I scrubbed and then scrubbed and I make sure to get the edges because we do not want any of what this cacti was trying to serve us. Hey, Selena. Hey, Eric. Do you got them pumpkin seeds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I need a quarter cup of them. Do you think we're going to fit them in our bowl? I don't know. It's getting pretty full. And we still have more corn. Oh. 
I'm a little glovey at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the salsa is so pretty. It looks really pretty. Are these the raw ones? Um, those are the raw ones. Yeah, I didn't like the way the salt and ones tasted. Oh, you can give me some. I'll give you some in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to stir my salsa. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to quarter cut. Will you um, go and bother? Yeah. Let's see that. Purdy. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Do you need to force them out? Yeah, we got half cup. We're going to force them out for the homies. <laughs> okay, we're quarter cup. This is really pretty, and it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Garlic, garlic, and peppers. Yeah, and whoa, you didn't chop them. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say anything about chopping. Is it a quarter cup shelled some pumpkin seeds? Okay. Isn't it like, but how are you... But I think we might need Really? It, just, it wouldn't be hard, even if you did chop them, they're just hard bits right into the salad? You guys sure about that? Well, no, they're soft. Here, oh. try one. Here. They're not they're, they're Yeah, yeah they're raw. Oh. Here. I think For everybody who thought that these would be hard, these are raw. I think we should put in more. Okay, let's do more. Okay. These are raw, um, not cooked pumpkin seeds, so they're very soft and tender. Almost like tofu tender. Say when. Pumpkin seeds are so good for you, too. Whoa. Whoops. Oops. Oh, God, you missed it. Hand fail. No, I wouldn't put that. I think that's good. That's okay, cool. I that's love a lot of salsa, though. Ground black pepper. Ground black pepper. I think the pumpkin seeds will add something to the mm. um, mm. lemoniness of the. I like your technique, Eric. <laughs> you turn that quite well. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Salt. Two dashes of it. Dashing. This is. I don't know. I mean, Dash is more than a pinch, right? Uh huh. But some the salt. It. What's this all is a dash more than a pinch? Yeah, or call a that pinch one dash. 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 Okay, wait, now let's go to the chat room for that. <laughs> yeah, guys. Dash, pinch. How are we feeling about all this? They're telling us to soak our nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the after party. <laughs> Did you throw some over your shoulder? A dash is more than a pinch. Boom! That totally looks dashing to me. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> To taste of cumin. Oh, cumin. Oh, that's going to be good with those pumpkin seeds. Where but they... should we wait till we have the last corn in? Um, no, because we can let it be flavor raven. Where's what? Flavor raven. The, uh. the cactus is so intriguing. Like the, the gelatinous part is just, there it is. Something it bubbles the mind. I don't know how much to put in. It's just to put in the taste. So whose taste are we? I'm You're not the chef. a huge cumin fan, so I think we'll have to taste it plain first to see how much to put in. Okay, then taste the plain. That. Oh, you want to taste the cumin plain? Yeah. Because I'm not so sure. Have you ever had cumin before? Not, not like in like raw food. Okay. All right, so our corn is coming out. And this is hot. Let's like switch camera angle. Okay. Okay. And oh, uh, okay. check it out over there. Cumin has a very distinct. There you go. It does. I'm looking um, for like this Really, off. I love it. Okay. There we go. So this is our corn. You see how it's a little bit burnt? Yeah. I can't see. Tilt. Tilt like, more. Can't oh, oh, sorry. It's okay. it's I was smelling cumin. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little bit burnt on the edges. You can see it over here. And now we're going to stick it. Come back in, Maggie. Okay. We're going to stick it in to our salsa. It's so sweet. It does? Cumin? Like, I like it on hummus and stuff like that. But I'm intrigued by it in the salsa. Okay. Silent taste test. Tastes like cloves, asparagus, and flowers. Hmm. This is like dangerous territory. Why? Because I've, I've never cooked with it before, so I'm not quite sure how much to... I'm going to sample the salsa. Well, does it taste good? It tastes good. Mm. It tastes good. Okay. You try it in the hand. Yeah, I will. I will. Just first of all, let's get the reactions. 
This is really amazing. It's good in there. Wow. What is that? Mmm. What is that? Cumin. Oh. Ooh, it's spicy. The peppers? Yeah. Mm, that's really nice, though. I think this is one of the best salsas I've ever had with the cactus, honestly. I can't eat salsa without chips. Yeah. It's like blaspheme. Oh, chips, please. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna. Alright, so I'm gonna move this in and get a. So I'm pre cumin. So, pre cumin. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about this much cumin. Let <laughs> Megan, would you please stir the cumin? I'm the stir, <laughs> not cumin. Is it, how do you say the word? Cumin. It is cumin. Yeah. yeah. I Some people say cumin. I just say cumin. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was cumin. It's cumin. <laughs> You mean it wasn't coming this whole time? Okay. Cumin's coming. Here, how we, uh, If it's not coming, then it's. Sample it, tell us what you believe the flavor is like. <laughs> Shelly, I need a check. Shelly just, just spit her teeth. Oh, it's like. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it used to be in a Mexican pizza called on sauce. I'm sure. <laughs> I love cilantro, says Shelly. Oh, yum. Do you like, um... I think it could use more peppers. More peppers? Which kind of peppers? No. Yeah, we can try it out. So this is our first try, my first experience with cactus ever. I think more peppers and more cumin. <laughs> yeah, I think more spice. Mm -hmm. I don't taste the cactus at all. I'm going to put the rest of this in. There's a lot. Okay. Mm. I mean, it said three peppers, and I cut three peppers. I have to say that um, the cactus is really nice. The texture is is amazing. I don't know what is cactus. We could put more garlic in. Too. I don't. What is the cactus element? The it's, cactus is that sort of green stuff. Um, the green. The it has a slightly crispy lemony. Here's mm -hmm. a big piece. It's like a pepper. But lemony. Yeah, and the lemony part is so cool. But not I, to be confused with a leper. And this is pretty amazing Thanks. stuff. This would be great at a party. Like, if you brought cactus salsa to a party, I mean, people would be like, wow, this salsa is really amazing and different. Oh, there's some still in the... So we use the gourmet? Mm -hmm. We use the gourmet cactus, the soft, because you want it to match up with your tomatoes. Hey, Selena. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone get the chip cactus. off her chin. <laughs> Put on your chin. <laughs> Not on my shoulder, on my chin. But yeah, it's really nice flavor. It's very summery. You know, you know what it is? It's kind of like you know how you have Kool Aid and then you have like adult punch made out of fruit. It's like salsa is regular, just Kool Aid, and then we've made sophisticated punch for the party. I can imagine a good match with with cactus too would be making a mango salsa, like it's quite delicious. simple with mm -hmm. mango. Mm. Cactus. Yeah, that's good. I wish we had like beans. way more corn, but I just love this corn. Yeah. The corn's really nice. Good call on the corn. Thank you. I won't ever use canned corn. Sorry. It's a thing. So. Part of me is wondering if we should, um, are you guys still down to do the stuffed cactus? Are we ready to experience some pan fried yeah. cactus? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. I want to know how the batter turns out. I'm very curious. Well, that was pretty good. And then, mm. when he takes really good care of his cactuses, I don't know, it was just extraordinary to listen to him talk about. Let's stop calling him him. John. John? And his last name is De um, but it was, it said Dyke? Dyke? Dykus? Yes, Dykus. His family built dikes back in the day. Dykus? Yeah. yeah. And they said that the name had actually been changed a few times, um, the spelling and stuff like that. So, what do you think? I don't like it now. Where are you? Uh, I think it's a win. Yeah. Mm. It's very pretty, too. <laughs> you guys did a great job. The pumpkin seeds, they're rocking it for me. <laughs> I okay. like the dichotomy between oh. the pumpkin seed Sorry. and the cactus. Um, okay. Whoa. Are you okay? Call yeah. Power. <laughs> yeah, I needed the container. <laughs> Alright, let me get out of the way. 
Ah, get behind the camera. Where's the chat? Right there. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. No. Oh, Eric. Hmm? Oh, ah, yes. I think it's finicky. Let me sneak by you. All right, so we're going to do... more. I'm going to do a mini cleanup here. Right. Keep eating. Oh, we also have avocado, but I'm thinking I'm going to save that for the uh, stuffed cactus. Okay. Unless you guys want any now. I think that this salsa is fine with that. Although okay. I do love avocado salsa. I think that the peppers are going to catch up with us shortly. <laughs> what? Peppers mm -hmm. are going to catch up with us shortly because they just got spicier. Okay. But it's good. Can you guys stand on that side of the camera, please? I am trying to get in here. Okay. So. Let's see. Leave this here. Maybe it's time to No. Right there. Did you have one out? <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, I switched camera angles okay. to the stove. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, give us one second while we regroup here. Oh, actually, well, I mean, I need to mix stuff. So. Okay, back to it. Yeah. So the salsa is amazing. And it's a win win. Now we are getting ready for our gluten free extravaganza here. And we didn't put any cilantro in it because the hand doesn't like cilantro. We may take our own little personal batch and stick some cilantro in it. In the salsa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you should because I'm minority in that one. Most people like cilantro, I guess. How about you guys? I like cilantro. Mm -hmm. Eric? Yeah? Okay. So, our gluten free extravaganza here. Let's see. Thank you, Shelly, again. Um, let's see, what do we have going on here? We have three large leaves. Well, we're doing four because there's four of us. Um, this one's pretty awesome. Look at this. It is far bigger. Would you not, would you mind not putting it in front of your face? And not putting it in front of your face? <laughs> but I'm trying to show the size of it. I know, but we need to, to compare it with your head. Exactly, like next to it. Okay, like, so here no, we go. To the... Exactly. This cool. is a nice yeah. um, sea size leaf. It's huge. I'm ex looking forward to stuffing this one, actually. Are you? I am. <laughs> You're so bad. And then here are some more sea size leaves. Those are much smaller. Yeah, they are. But the, the way they feel... How do you stuff the, smaller ones? Is there any difference in size? Well, they're back. this is the grade. Like, these ones are very tender. They're all very tender. Um, so... For stuffing, what we are going to do is, now this looked quite difficult when I saw them do it online, and um, this I just found on like a cooking site. Eric, how are you at filleting? I have no idea. He's uh, busy. Um... He's busy? <laughs> He's Megan, busy. are you a good filleter? <laughs> um, you mean like slicing the cactus in half? Yeah. I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, I think we all should try. You know what? We should all do our own cactus for our fillet. How about that? So that way we get multiple views of who is. See, the salsa is a win. Everybody is still eating it, and it's quiet. Yeah, I'm just saying out of camera eating salsa. Yeah. So here's the cactus. You see how thin this is? This is going to be quite a uh, quite a um, quite a feat here. So I'm going to try to. Uh, Not camera. Something. I'm going to try to uh, fillet this. We're busy over here. Everybody is eating. This salsa is such a win. I'm so excited. I was a little worried because, like I said, when I opened the box of cactus, I was scared. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. I'm not so. going to be scared of him when I see him in the store now. I'm gonna, I, I am now... A fan? Yeah, I'm going to buy cactus. Well, John said that they last up to a month, so we should order them from... Him because the ones I've seen at the store, they don't look any, they look more like grade D. They're gigantic and they have very big prickles and they have always frightened me. But mm -hmm. getting them in the mail and, sounds good. And you saw how clean they were, no prickles, nothing mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is um, quite a challenge here. See, as you can see, I'm going through the back end of the, ca <laughs> of the cactus as I'm trying to cut the front. Um, 
filleting stuff is a little difficult. You know, is there a difference between a cactus and a prickly pear? Yeah, the, I think that though well, they're a type of cactus, mm -hmm. but the pear is actually what they make jelly and stuff out of. Wow, I really suck at this. My stuffed cactus isn't really going to be a stuffed cactus. It's going to be more like a. Uh, I don't know. Well, your laptop is hot. Thank you. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> so, full um, flavor um, on the on the salsa since you guys are going to town over there. Mm -hmm. And it gets spicier, but the spicy is nice. It's a nice build. That's why um, I wanted to use different types of peppers. And you're not supposed to cut through the back side. You're only supposed to cut one side of this because you're trying to stuff it. Wow, this is like the worst job ever. So here's my kind of sort of flap at the moment. Um, it's over here too. And the middle part is, uh, it's really lame. I'm not good at this. This is going to take lots of practice for those of you who want pretty stuffed cactuses. I'd say get the grade D. Practice on them first. Um, then feed them to your tortoise. Or your iguana. All right. I bet they still taste good. Whoa. <clears throat> Not a you some spikes. No, I got like something Okay, so here's mine. Um, this is my job at full leg. It looks more like a paper doll gone wrong. It's <laughs> um, a paper doll. So, <laughs> so um, we're going to let you go next. And um, Super Viking thinks you may be using, the wrong maybe knife. they might be a better knife. Probably, but we don't have one. So we will, right. we will, I agree, we will let Megan. Oh my gosh. Try. The pressure's on. The pressure is, the heat is on. All right. So you cut off the bottom and you cut off the spines. Okay. So you're gonna trim the whole thing like I did for the other thing. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Yep. And um chip, please. You know what? It may be better for you to actually be on this side. Which move, move the chips here, because like I would I get everybody in the angle this way. Okay. So we don't have to move back and forth. Okay. So where should I go? Over there? No, no, no. You're fine where you are. Good. Selena's right. going to move over here. And, and Eric's going to bring the chips here. Actually, and, and Eric, because you're so close, you're fine. it's easier to do it out here to get everybody in the shot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So now I've side, I sidelined my cactus, streamlined my cactus. And now I'm supposed to cut it in half, yep. but not all the way because it has to be a flat. Is that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You make it a pocket. Making my cactus a pop. <laughs> what do you think about the salsa? It's amazing. Yeah, you can see like, yourself. Yeah. It's really. It's a really good recipe. Mm hmm. And it came with a cactus. Mm hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Did you um, look into the nutritional content? Mm, it has it right in the in the in the flyer. Skillful work by Miss Megan. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm talking to my. I'm trying to be a psychic. Oh, there's my monkey. Um, a, a cactus psychic right now. So they are going to use the cacti like a pita bread. But we're and not putting salsa inside. We're doing something else. We're right? stuffing it with cheese. A diet of jalapeno cheese. Vegan cheese. Mm-hmm. This is alarming. And the reason why I don't prep a ton of stuff before the show is because I want everybody to see the actual like trial and error and how things go. Error. <laughs> um, you know, so stuff that you might run into or the frustrations you might run into in the actual kitchen. The sauce is awesome. Well, I made a pocket. <laughs> um, oh, yours is better than mine. Yeah, good job. All right, that, that, this is mine. It was very difficult. There's probably some very skillful way to do this. And um, this is the recipe I found off the internet. It did not come with the cactus. So um, there's two. Hey, your, your turn. Do you want the big boy, Eric? Well, let's go with this one first. Howie, the hand gets the big one. 
I think the big one's gonna be harder than the, the little one. So. Good <laughs> thing Howie has to handle that. Anyway. <laughs> More practice to try. It's hot. It's really hot. Hey, I got a nice piece of serenio. Looks good though. The website says slightly citrusy and fresh. Very fresh. Like, this mm -hmm. is awesome. And if you notice, we're still eating it. The combo of the corn, the pumpkin seed, and the cactus is really good. Mm hmm. And I, like I said, I used three different tomatoes because I wanted the different exposure to taste. Mm. And definitely serenos and jalapenos. I never like to use, that's okay. Mm. I'm catching up with that serenio that I got. I'm going to put it down if you want. That's all right. Mm. So, I'm probably going to start on the, how are you doing there, Eric? Uh, failing. Failing? Yeah. There's moments where you feel like you're going to succeed, right? Like the yeah. night goes in and you think like, yeah, I'm going to have a perfect pocket. Mm. And then... Then you don't. That's the hand. Anybody have questions for the hand? It doesn't speak, though. It might be challenging to respond. Mm. No, it Sorry, speaks all right. <laughs> That's right. The hand's a new job. Learn sign language. <laughs> Right, so, how like put this out on a bowl or something. Can we talk about the salsa? The salsa is really good. You know, I, I taste every ingredient. I mm -hmm. taste the onions, the beans. The cactus, you know, is like, it's got texture. It kind of reminds me of pepper. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of pepper. But, um. Yeah, this is definitely mm, not good. It's good. I mean, it's fresh. It's really good. Yeah, but this is the great thing. Grade A that we're using, and mm. B in the salsa. I would not use the stuff that I've seen at the grocery stores in the mm -hmm. salsa because it looks too tough. It does look tough, and that's like. Um, and they're really dark green. These are very bright, vibrant. These are beautiful. These would make good decorations, even. Eric is taking this very mm. seriously over here. Uh, I'm doing horrible. I like it. It's really awful. I like this uh, salsa stuff here. Mm -hmm. More corn would be good. Mm -hmm. then, and in there I have three, I have three uh, full ears of corn. So that's, that's really <laughs> I good. No, that's, 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 pretty, that's, that's the good. best. It's been. I'm going to wash it down with some black coffee. <laughs> What's up with the cauliflower? Is that going to get stuck? No, the that cauliflower um, was in the container that we're using for the flour. Okay. So. All right. So, that's what I'm dealing with here. It's Eric's pocket. Okay, the hand. It is now your turn to make your pocket. There might be a better knife for this, but I think... I just think the concept is really difficult. Because these are really thin. Mm -hmm. And they're not very uniform. Mm -hmm. So trying to fillet that is it's very hard. You see how, how, how it is? I okay. also imagine that, you know, there isn't a lot of filleting that one practices as a beating. Well, they don't catch this. No. How's well, that? Well, I mean, you cut tofu like that. But tofu like is just like. Tofu is just a block. This is just so skinny. I mean, I think it would be if this was steak, it would be hard. It's just, it's a, it's a hard thing to do. Okay. okay. Here's the hand. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oops. Um, what am I doing? This one. Uh -huh. The big one. Wow. We saved the big one for Let's you. Let's see. Wow, this is tough, guys. Just looking at what you guys did here. It wasn't really made to be split, you know? We're just splitting it. Well, it says so in the recipe that I found online. Okay. I mean, this is tough because uh, maybe we don't have to... Maybe you need to cut, cut the down. edges and you need... Yeah, you don't have... To. Can we... Uh, what are we putting inside? What are we stuffing inside? Um, vegan cheese and then we're breading the outside. 
But just you need cheese? To, just yeah, cheese? Yeah. Okay. But you well need then, to, um, you need to do Nobody says we, they have to be that big. No, I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah, just part. I'm just saying, but they don't have to be this big. Like, there's no such, no one says that the I know, but it's, big. it was a nice size cactus. Okay. I think what I'd like to do is do is like cut this one. Okay. Because yeah. there's really no pocket in, in this, right? There's no pocket. It's just a solid piece. We're mm -hmm. making pockets. Right. So if we're making pockets, we can make pockets of any size. So right. let's make it small. Okay. This is a thoughtful hand. So, no hand is mightier. Okay. Um, okay my, here we go. Right. All right. So mm -hmm. I've uh, what is this? I've got all the sides off, right? Mm -hmm. And so now we're gonna. Yeah. This is yeah. I, I see why it's tough because it's not flat. And. Uh, This is already kind of tough here. It's because I have to go with I have to cut with the curvature of the surface. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that's you know what I think it's easy to do. Um, instead of like cutting it so that it's a pocket, just split it in half, right? And we just sandwich it. Mm. Can we just sandwich these things? If you want, I was following the directions. Okay, I know that, but like we can do whatever you want. Sandwiching too. That's I, I think sandwiching makes more sense. So let's just. Like, we want the soft parts though, because the cheese needs to. No, because we're breading it. We need to fill it like a pocket, because we're breading it too. We're stuffing. We can bread ready. the sandwich. Okay, let's do what we want. It no, just seems easier. Let's give, okay. let's give both a try. Yeah, we, we give both a try. All right. So well, this is the trial and error part of the show. Um, this is unsanctioned. <laughs> Yeah, this is off recipe. This is really tough and frustrating uh, to go through, I think, because it's uh, pretty like the surface is. So can you get in on the angle here? I already. Like, do you, do you guys see like how, like, if you see, uh, you want to stand behind it, maybe easier. There's not really a lot of room. That's why I was doing it this way. Right. Okay. So I mean, yeah. Before I, I mean, I would say like, yeah, this is definitely a road of frustration, um, and. Um, See that? And so like it's you don't really have a whole lot of room there. To, so, I mean, just like if I were to even just get on the outside, just to follow the line, that's challenging enough. That's what but I then, mean. yeah. But then like you have to go deeper within to make a pocket, right? And here's the problem: look, it's curved. See, it's it's so you're you're eventually gonna poke through the middle. So to me, it's like yeah, it, it's 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 gonna take too much time to even try this. So I would rather just like take two slices that are kind of you know, flat, like that. I would just take out the sides. And this is okay to eat, right? The skin yeah. is fine to eat? Yeah, it's in right? the salsa, just like that. Okay, then I would just, uh, yeah, I would just do this. Like, we'll just, like, put the stuff in here, and, and just, like, Yeah, that's but the it. thing is, the waxy you know? stuff is, you need to have the meat, the soft part, that's what you're stuffing. Like yeah, but it's, it's all it's all gonna get in, and you're all gonna get, it's going the same okay, place. Okay, we'll it's see. Going we'll, mouth, right? we'll we'll see how they taste because we've got the two. Yeah, unless unless then then if that's the case, I would just next week on Iron Chef. You know what to do? I would I would scrape <laughs> the surface. See what I mean? I would make a pocket like with two halves. All right. Right. That's right. the same thing. Can't we make a pocket with these cute little things? I think we can. Well, uh, okay. I think we can. I don't know if we can only because like I don't think we could stuff anything in there. It'd be really thin. I think we can. Yeah, I think you can. I just think it takes a lot of effort. That's all. Check it out. You were so smart. Okay. So making a smaller piece gives us the ability to create a pocket. Right. And then we have a beautiful. Yeah, but then you have pocket. to go right in the middle. Yeah. There we go. Check that out. Look, it's a pocket. Okay, so what have we discovered? We did it. Well, oh, I awesome. think what have helped was like first of all, like using a a, a flatter Higher. piece, uh -huh. right? What well, happened? And you have nice. a pocket. That's great. Good that job, Megan. Well, I but, think it was but a that team means, effort. But yeah, but you can't, it's hard to do it with this though. Let's try that one. So it, it's easier with uh, I think with a flatter piece. Yeah, the cutting it like this, doing? like the yeah. bigger cactus, and cutting. So we're actually supposed out. to be making a pocket. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. There I was just go. following the directions. Yeah. So the directions it's online nice. we are modifying. Yeah, it's a little hopeless it's to make. That's How's the chat room doing? I, I think the flatter pieces are, are key. So yeah, yeah, let's uh. Well, see, you had the, the luxury of a big cacti. 
But we all fought together. It was we teamwork. Did. But okay, what was uh, what, what grade is is the big cat guy? It's the bigger the, the well, that one. This is a C that we're using. For this, this is a C. So actually, the lower grade cacti is more suited. Well, yeah. No, I mean because all of bigger. this is all of this is C. That's why we're using. Well, I figure like the bigger it is, the flatter it is. That's mm -hmm. the idea. But I don't know. All right. Cool. So then, uh, pocket uh, using Megan's technique. Uh huh. Yeah. This is nice and thick, right? So. Yeah, that's gonna be a good pocket. And they're a nice size that way. They're like a popper. Mm -hmm. Boom! Back to poppers. We got cactus poppers. I got a cactus in my teeth. <laughs> this is cactus practice. Right <laughs> <laughs> cacti, cacti. Oh, uh, you know what helps too is a technique. I think, right? Like just sticking a knife in and just like wedging it like that instead you of like pulling it out. Take your hand off the top of it so people can see. Be like. I just kind of stuck it in there, and I just like instead of like poking it in and out, I just kind of like just moved it. That way, like you know. We are gonna be professionals <laughs> really soon. And there's your little pocket. So awesome. Deeper, I guess. How many pockets do we have, Howie? There's four of us. Oh, cool. we're actually gonna make this many. <laughs> uh, well, they're small. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, there's one. I mean, we can try it both ways, two, but if we actually have pockets, then this there's is awesome. Three. Hopeless. Hopeless. Then we can do one more. Yeah. A deep pocket. Short arms, deep pockets. <laughs> it's an expression for someone that's really tight with their money. Stick that knife in there instead of poking it. In this is a small one though, that's but it's nice and thick. Actually, you know what I would use? <laughs> yeah, we'll use this. Okay, we can't see the here. I know, but I need to see. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't see your fingers. <laughs> The hand doesn't need right any fingers. Well, the hand does not There's need still any fingers. There's no hand with or without fingers. Let me just kind of get in here like that so I can see. Okay. There we go. There we go. So that's how we do it, guys. So there's a pocket, I guess. Cactus popped it. Pop okay, it. cool. Pop there's, there's four pockets. All right, so now. I still think the technique was just like just sandwiching it, you know. It's yeah, I don't know about that but because <laughs> it's waxy the skin and it part part is cheesy. Like, what if we just, just scrape out the skin? That's yeah. more work. <laughs> you think? Yeah, try it on that one. Here, Megan, stand in a little closer. There we go. Well, actually, you know what? This this is salvageable. This is a pocket. I think we got. It's like this is salvageable. You just have you know it just. That work. one's kind of like a pocket. Boom! See, that's great. That's Eric. That's right? totally. No, that's great. You could just. Yeah. I think I think yours has has salvageability too, Selena. I think we can find multiple <laughs> pockets in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, cool. so all right, hand. I need you to wash your hands and have your cameraman back. Yes, please wash your hands. Now, how does the cat just feel to all you guys as you're touching it? Like, it's very it? sad. <laughs> Cat's a plant psychic. <laughs> it's sad because we're going to call the plant psychic. It's kind of slimy. Now, like, like slimy, like here. Somebody step in. There we go. Uh, okay, hand. The tripod has done funny things while I've been back here, so please. What have you done me. with it? Can handle it. Uh, All right. So now that we have figured out the uh, okay. pocket crazy, Ooh, pocket crazy, pocket crazy. What are you doing? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Thank you, everybody, again for uh, sticking around. Now we're gonna get to the breading part. Um, it's about to get hypey up in here. I'm going to put some more salt. The salt is kind of addictive. Addicting. This one's thicker. Too. I'm really glad that I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> I mean, everybody should be really glad that I'm not a surgeon, especially the cactus. But you do have a doc, um, not a doctor, a master's I degree. do have a master's. And... History. That's awesome. It what kind of awesome. history? Um, the history of the Algerian Revolution and its impact upon history. Algeria? Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with Algiers. Algiers is in Algeria. Isn't that those in France? No! They fought a mighty war of independence. Algeria is uh, is an African uh, country. And I was a, had a focus in history. That's what I know. 
they um, fought a mighty war for independence. The Battle of Algiers is a movie about it. And, so the um, French were in the battle, right? They fought against France. Okay, and, I was confused. Yeah, and France basically treated Algeria like a um, like oh, part of lovely. France. Uh, we're being asked if Algiers is a casino in Vegas. Is that true? <laughs> it might as well be. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Um, I think there is one in Vegas. I've never been to Las Vegas. Really? Really. Wow. Hmm. You're missing out on so much. <laughs> I'm gonna go someday. It's pretty bad. Should we move this also? Yeah. Let's right. move it to a... We can put it back on top of the fridge really quick. All right, so now we're going to. Um, we mowed through a lot of chips and salsa. Yeah, that thing was. We cool. don't have enough chips for our salsa. Tangerines. We just have to eat the salsa. Mm. No tangerines. Oh, sorry, far away. Okay, so <laughs> now to the next step. Wow, I feel like so overwhelmed about the cactus pockets. I think it's a big undertaking. Mm -hmm. Not to be taken lightly, cactus pockets. Yes. All right, so you can, you want me to put it up there? You want me to put it up there? Eric can put it up there. Don't go Eric Arms! All right, so we are going to combine these two recipes that I have here and um, make some gluten-free. Do you need the egg replacement? Yes, please. See you, please. Thank you. All right. Please. <laughs> we are going to... Um, now we're speaking French. This is so culturally inappropriate. <laughs> we have the garbanzo and fava flour, which is gluten free. And um, so I'm combining two, two recipes here. This is actually a bean flour. Yes. That's so weird. It's oh, blowing yes. my mind. Egg replacers and bean flours. I'm so excited. Me too. And it looked really good in the picture. Um, so we are going to use... Hold on, I'm looking for the flower part. Mmm. Where's the flower part? Okay, so it says to use a fourth cup. One of, eighth to a fourth. Yeah, but we have um extra thingies now. And it's, so yes, one eighth to a fourth. I'm gonna go heavy because I like breading. So my one not do that so close to the laptop. Oh, okay. I need to put some back. Somebody sing. <laughs> okay, and somebody dump that into the um, container over there. So we're using one eight. We're using one fourth cup of the gluten free fava bean flour. This ain't, this ain't no Rachel Ray over here, man. Let me tell you. Garbanzo <laughs> and fava flour. Phenomena. Okay, so our egg replacer is going to tell us that, um, it's going to tell us something. How many eggs? Yeah, one, one and, and a half. half. So I'm looking Which for the conversion. Means, uh, it's on the back. Ah, okay. So, so one and a half plus, so two and a quarter teaspoons. Two and a quarter teaspoons? Yeah. Okay. And three tablespoons of water. Okay, so two and a quarter teaspoons. Yes. Hey, it would be easier if you did everything here. Okay. Here. Would you mind just moving operations here? Yes. Operations? Yes. I'll let you be in charge of the measuring, Mr. Eric, while I continue to grab stuff. This is the scary part for me. I'm intimidated by the breading. Okay. Is that it? Why didn't you make two about bread? I'm not successful at it. I have failed many times of uh, breading and battering things. I think we're going to succeed this time. Okay. I think we will succeed where others have failed. I do too. I mean, we're we're breading we cacti. I mean, <laughs> this, this breading cacti. You can't is, fail. We've already made these really special pockets. <laughs> so there's no way it can be bad. It's true. I mean, whatever happens, we have the salsa. So, okay. I have confidence. I wanted to make more than salsa because I really wanted to show how... The versatility. Thank you. Cactus. Yes. I think it's brave to take on something like breading a cacti, even cutting a cactus pocket, you know? 
And I was very excited when they sent sent me cacti. Like I was in, intimidated as well. Like I said, this is a very intimidating show for me because I do not know what I am doing. This is a precise. Look at this guy. I am kind of intense. <laughs> 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 Show the camera, Howie. So this is one of the kinds of tomatoes that we were. Um, I'm gonna say that's about right, and then I need. Uh, so we need something to mix this in, right? Um, right there. Since we're mixing everything. Oh, just mix it right in there. Yeah, just put it right in. Yeah, put it in. Okay. All so right. Now I need three teaspoons of water. Three teaspoons of water. Yep. Can we move the thingy in closer? Move the thingy in closer. The uh, mixing thingy. Stuff. Bowl. Yes. The this guy. Bowl. Three this. teaspoons? The yep. actual. Yeah. Tray. So into the camera view. There we go. Okay, so we have three teaspoons of water. Cool. And now we need. Um, now we can start up oil for fry. Frying oil. We need to move all the stuff. You need to move me. We need to move Eric. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to um, get our frying on. So we should switch oh, camera? Oh, we need to mix it. Don't we need to, yeah, yeah, you need to mix that up? Oh, we got a mixer. Okay. A spoon. A spoon. Right. Is that all? Is it, uh, where's the liquid? It has to be more liquid. Doesn't there have to be like spices in it or something? Like, like just salt and pepper? Um, salt to taste. Yeah. Okay. This is not gonna... Well, this is probably gonna call for water as well. Okay. okay. So, an so, onion. Is... Onion. We need an eighth of an onion. This okay. needs, like... We need liquid. Where's the liquid? Oh, I don't see it in the, um, a half to... It says a half to taste of corn oil for frying. But it doesn't say how much. This is a bad... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it calls for this water. Is not it just batter. doesn't tell us how much flour. water. Because yeah. it says cook this in a large pot with water. Hmm. Cook it in a large pot? With well, water? we're pan frying it. So there's something wrong with our directions here. Oh, and we need to lower our voices because it's almost 10 o'clock and we're going to turn into pumpkins if uh, we got those. Um, um, yeah, we need water. <laughs> can't disturb the neighbors in the middle of the show. <laughs> Oh, this, this recipe is faulty. Okay, so the recipe I found is faulty, just to add um, It's missing some fun. water. It's missing... <laughs> I'm going to put pepper in it. It's just missing cause, food. You know, I'm going to do something. So uh, we're going to now um, just kind of make up our own way because I picked a faulty recipe. Go me. That's a dash. A dash. Alright, so move your butt. Let's get some water. Oh, wait a minute. What? what? The mighty Eric has figured it out. Well, now we have breaded onions. Are we onions. making a half a recipe? Mm. No, it's well, it's it said to put in how many cacti you wanted to cook. So I did, and that's what it gave me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So there's supposed to be onions in the thing. Yeah. Oh. So let's just start this way. So we're gonna make it until it's um, right. And this doesn't look like enough breading either. Oh, yes. we, have, we have a bad recipe. Camera can't see what's going on. Okay, we have a bad right. recipe. So this, this is what we have. Maybe you can help us out there. We have this, and we're going to try to put our cactus in that. So I think we have a bad recipe. You know what, maybe maybe this is a uh, mix, maybe we should use the handheld mixer. You know, like get it nice and thick and mixed up. Okay. And it looks like you need no water, right? You sure? No, it's, No, it's not calling for water at all. But we put water in because there's got to be something. Okay, and, and everything is in proportion, correct proportions, yeah. right? Made sure. Yeah, but... So then I think the only thing is like, yeah, it just mix up into a thick batter. But it's, I don't think it's going to be enough for all the um, the cacti. I think we're going to have... I think we should triple it. It looks like you need more than that. Yeah, I think we should triple what we got. So let's do um, two... Let's see what we have, one fourth. We should use yeah, like the recipe that's here, right? I mean, well, that's for six. Six servings, not... So, no, it said six, six um, no, leaves. Six it serves. tastes like garbanzo beans. Five yeah. small leaves. It is good. Where is the flower? We made four. So. I don't know. Where's the flower? It's behind you. Okay, so, you know, you can never have too much batter, so I'm going to triple the recipe here. So, we are going to all together have three-fourths of garbanzo bean powder. 
a lot of garbanzos went into that. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna just we're we're winging it here now at this point. Garlic. We need more eggs. We need more eggs. More powdered eggs, please. That's all you. Do you just I put you just put the powdered eggs in the flour, like you don't turn it into water. So I put in like. like I put in like. What? Strange. Okay. Uh, three more eggs worth. Three more eggs, and how much is one egg? So you want four and a half teaspoons of the powder, and you want six tablespoons of water. Yeah, you want to let Eric measure? No. Six tablespoons. I'm done. How many teaspoons? Just wing it. How uh, many? Four and a half. Four and a half. But this stuff, we definitely don't want to wing it. It's kind of true. Yeah, this stuff because it's. Alright. Come on. You can dry it out later. Okay. I'm gonna say use a spoon, but okay. Well, science. science. All right. I don't have a spoon. Wait. Use a dirty one. They're all clean in, in the other room. All right. So. How's the chat room doing? It's good. Viking wants a yoga lesson. Four teaspoons? Okay. Four and a half. Thick, thick. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. Like thick pancake batter. That's what we're going for, yep. right? Okay. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> okay, there we go. Six teaspoons of water. Six teaspoons? I'll let you do the water. The water machine's right over there, please. Do we have a fork? <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys don't have forks. We do, they're just in the other room. I think a fork would be a good mixer. <laughs> Instead of using the this big thing. Well, what about this thing? I think it works better, but. Let's start. But you gotta got put it in a, in, a cup, in a cup, though. Yeah. Like, so, like, uh, like here. The measuring cup, but like, I think if we start with a fork, we're good. Okay. So, trial and error. Here we go. I've got the thing. Yeah. But we definitely need just put it all in there, more, it'll mix better. more water. water. Okay. That's just, that's nothing like pancake batter. Yeah. This is like, and we'll just go and stir as we go. I'm totally lost with that right now. <laughs> You're a doubter? Yeah, I just, I think, uh, I'm afraid I think we're all out of whack. Oh, no. Okay, go. Oh. You guys are just putting water in there? Yeah, we're going to make it like pancake better. Okay, we are now officially going. Yeah, we're one. We're a wall. We're, we're going off the off the path. We're off the grid. We're off You're the path. You're putting way too much water. No, 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 okay. we're not. We're not. This is this is no, no, no. It's a kind of if you if you, if you, if, you if you fail that batter in the past, you can't keep doing what you always do. Yeah. So well, obviously we're not doing anything that we always do because we have no. Um, All right. Yeah. I don't no want the water. There's either. no precedent. We have no more. I, I'm now. saying like the mixer will do wonders because you know it will. It will mix everything. You probably don't need water. Okay. It's like glue now. You need water. It's too much water in there. No, it needs to be. Uh, You'll be surprised. I mean, because it's all bunched up. Flat, like. Well, if it didn't call for water, you know. <laughs> all right. Well, batter normally is. It's, batter it's, has it's liquid batter. in it. Yeah, yeah it has eggs. That's what makes it. We use egg replacer. So it needs oh, oh, well, oh, oh, so We're looking for that's like what batter, it was. Like yeah. So the, the liquefied form was supposed to be the egg replacement. Yeah. Okay, well, if that's the case, then, yeah, that's what we're missing. then you need water. You need something. I've never made anything with egg replacement. All right, so I guess water. So we need to, yeah, you're right, it's liquid. All right, say it about the smart stick. All right. There you go. Okay. So mm -hmm. Is that enough go. water? Well, I think we'll we need out. a little bit more, honestly, because it needs to be like better. All right, go I, for it. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, but. Okay. Hmm, this just tastes like honey. Yeah, we're gonna do more. There is something wrong happening here. <laughs> Don't shush me, lady. Like harvest. <laughs> Alright, so this is like full on experiment and we can keep this back. Shelly said. Maybe add some cayenne pepper to that batter and it would go well with the ingredients. That sounds like a very good idea. It tastes like cumin. <laughs> so that is um, really Um, I don't know. I taste the onions over everything. 
and it still needs to be a little thinner. I don't know how we're going to batter anything with that. Just needs to be a little thinner, but not much. So, uh, yeah, I'm full of surprises this evening. I think this is getting good, like the consistency is getting good. Try not to lift it too high when you're using it. Yeah. yeah, no, it's great. I think it's good Just now. Keep, um, no, I think it's actually, I think we're, we're good. Yeah, I think that's... This is, yeah, this is nice. This is about where you want it. There's so a lot fun. of pepper in it. Yeah. All right. So there's onions, there's pepper, there's garbanzo beans, there's... Um, fava beans. <laughs> and fava. So, um... Yeah, they want a close up. They want a close up. So she doesn't cut close up. Lose her fingers. So this is um yeah. Please remember to unplug your mixer before you stick your fingers in it. Yeah, but normally we have a spatula, but we don't have one of those either. Like I said, this is the uh the This is not USDA. <laughs> this is kinda like camping. <laughs> this is the bachelor and bachelorette pad over here. Um, so yeah, the consistency is quite nice, and I think we're going to go for it. So, we need to preheat the pan and fill it with oil. I bought a large amount of canola oil today, um, just for this. So, and you want to go and take this and put this in the sink and soak it to rinse it off. Um, okay. Thank you, eh? I'm looking for the large oil. Oh, here it is. So, Today we bought a reusable bottle and poured our own oil at Rainbow. It'll never work. We're doomed. It's going to work. So, all right, let's put this in the pan. And then we can, uh, oh, you don't have to clean it all right now, right? Oh, oh, we, we, need the, um, we need the um, camera. Hi, Lemon Cactus. Hi, welcome to the show. Pin the sandwich pieces together after stuffing with toothpicks. Really cactus liked your idea, and welcome. Thank you for coming to the show. We're really happy to have you here. The salsa was amazing, and thank you for sending us the salsa. I mean the cactus. Awesome. Thank you for showing up. We love the salsa recipe. Oh yeah. my goodness. It's really amazing. Are we on? You're on. With the camera. Okay, I can't see what's going on with that one too. Right, but you're you're in view. You're good. You're perfect. How are you doing, it pan frying? Well, what are you doing? That's not pan frying. It's deep frying. Well, deep frying. Yeah, we're deep frying. Okay. We gotta get that oil hot. Yep. Are you? Is anybody in the room good this? Dude, you just put it in. All right. So here we go. So I used all of this. This is a lot. We're mm -hmm. gonna make sure that your cacti is fully covered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this here so we can batter it and stuff it. For the stuffing, we have diet cheese, and it, we're using the um, pepper jack. And That's for perfect. Those of you, for those of you who don't want pepper jack, we have cheddar. So all of us are going to stuff our own pockets and uh, bread our own pockets. So I'm going to put the batter into in here, and normally you would have a spatula. And I'm also going to turn on the stove now and get this oil hot. Did you get this idea from uh, Living Cactus? This one came... To pin the sandwich pieces together after stuffing with toothpicks. You might want to turn That's on the, uh, we were saying. the window. The oh. Oh, the oh, yeah, we need some ventilation for our deep So we are going to... This is what our batter looks like. Tell us the view. Is it good? So it's somewhat... It's very much so like pancake batter. How's it taste? How's the better taste? Tastes like beans. Tastes like hummus, right? Uh, yeah, it tastes very much like hummus. Did you try it? Which would make sense because it's made with garbanzo beans. Uh huh. What do you think, Eric? Very green. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's very got that very pea taste. Really? Why do you think it tastes like? Baba beans. 
Sorry. I'm too loud. Okay. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to stuff my pocket with uh, pepper jack shreds. Do not repeat that. <laughs> okay. Are you going to do stuffing here now? On um, the stable? Oh, where's where's well, let's do it here. All right. So I'm stuffing my pocket. I'm taking the little pocket. This is kind of difficult. All right. So I'm going to stuff it really nice and. Oops. <laughs> Breaking the pocket. If you push too hard, it will crack. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna, gonna do that. That's how it looks. Here. So, what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I stuffed cactus pocket. Right. Simply just diet cheese, nothing else. Right. Diet cheese, that's it. Mm, diet cheese. Okay, guys. Who's next? Okay. Uh, we have cheddar, too. I have to diet. Um, if this one's too spicy for you. Uh, I'm into the jack. Just be careful. Okay. I'm going to moderate the room real quick. So Dana said your cactus lasts up to a month. Ordering might be an option, but not sure about food importing laws to the UK. Let's see. Erica's really good at this. Whoa, Eric's that's a beauty. Puppy. He's meticulous. Mm, he is. Shelly says that she's seen cacti in London at the farmer's market. Cool. Um, let's see. It can, oops. Okay. Well, all right, is it my turn? Yeah. Keep going. I'm gonna hand over the delicious salsa and chips to the hand. Okay. okay. This hey, you're, oh, you're stuck in your other one. The Food Network is calling. They want Howie. <laughs> oh, chat room keeps jumping. I'm trying to. Okay. Hey, fun. hey, folks. It's fun watching you all prepare the cactus, and we're happy you like it so much. This is from um, Ruben Cactus. And I think the hand had the right idea with sandwiching the cactus. I've seen that done before. Never spread. Um, the sandwich pieces. Thanks, Maverick. It was fun too. Um, Still see. can. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna here. stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff. With, I can't find the thing. I think this one is me. I'm gonna stuff one with regular, or I'll just stuff it with some. Cheddar stuff? No. No, just some cheddar stuff. Yeah. One take. Hold on. Wait up. Okay. Yep. Ooh, our oil's hot. The oil, you can tell it's hot when you start to hear it. Um, it's popping. Popping. So it's getting popping up in here. It is. Now, do we need, is it going to be exposed while we do this? Well, we have a lid. Okay. Well, we have a lid. Okay. And you know what? We're also going to take a plate and take some paper towels and put them I'll on the plate. I'll get you the paper towels. And the plate food. Okay. All right. How are we doing here? What are we doing? I have never eaten this before. Oh, oh, have you tried it plain? No. This is diet cheese. This is a vegan cheese among favorites. Are we putting the avocado in this? No, I'm not that. Boom. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you kind of open a little bit more? I'm going to actually take the oil off the burner because it's getting too hot now. When you start to hear the oil popping, I'm going to get ready. So, um, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stuff this one with um, non jack cheddar. Cheddar, it's called. You clubs up just to munch on Eric. the strip, although you had a bit of it diced. Um, right there's one. We call it Dog Del Salsa locally. A friend of mine came up with a name, but it does not help the sales. <laughs> oh, dog drool. Dog drool salsa. <laughs> Why do they call it that? Because of the um the it is like dog drool. Oh my god, yeah. Is that right? I've been trying to think of what it's like. It doesn't smell like dog drool though. Do you take a habit of smelling dog drool? <laughs> Too hot? I'm not answer that. Okay. Let's see, LOL dog drool. Yes, um, 
Alright. Now, do you think do you need to lower the temperature a little bit by now? Yeah, I'm gonna lower it down while we can do a little bit more. Alright, so there's one like that. Do you wanna do yours or no I want to start battering right now? Or you can do one. Or how we how do you wanna do it? Um well, let me just stay out of it for okay. now. Right, I'm gonna do a more and more with the um regular. Okay, this is regular? Yeah. So I'm gonna attempt to to batter this. We're gonna stick it right in here. Remember you were such a batterer. I know. So I'm pushing it down, and uh, I'm just gonna yeah. kind of cover it because I don't want the cheese to fall. Out. Can you? Uh... So I'm just gonna cover it like this. I don't want the cheese to fall. Oh, the cheese is falling out. Cheese is making an exit. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm really. I'm, 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 I'm a little disappointed in this one, but we're gonna throw it in the pan and see how it goes. First one's always. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. You guys can open the pan. Hold on a second. Before you do that, let me switch cameras. Okay, switch cameras. This was Hold on work. one second. Hold on one second, folks. And like I said, I'm a bad batterer. I've never Okay, we are ready. ready. Now, do you know how to, uh, okay. you know what the technique is? I think you should put it on something and then lower it. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. 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 Get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah. Bring it back here. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, and then lo use that to lower it in. We almost, we just uh, started. Someone else mess. lower it. Her hands are a mess. All right. Okay. Um, here we go. All right, here we go. And in we go. Let's okay, see. cool. Um, <laughs> okay, let's drop another one in, right? Yeah. All right, another one. All right, who wants to go in that Al batter or Jack one? Right. Batter and Jack! Wash your hands. Yep. Cool. Are we even I think it needs to get hotter. Yeah, I think it has to get hotter then. Okay, I'm going to um, spread the batter with my yeah, hands. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, or a knife would be fine. Um, I need some wood or something to shred it. I need oh, it's right one of the sticks. It's right here. I'm going to grab that. Cool. Turn it over? Yeah, I'm spreading these. Awesome. There we go, and it's getting nice and golden brown. Can the camera see that? All right, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, do we have a camera on the pan side? All right, that's getting really nice and golden brown. Frying makes pretty much everything good, so. Well, I mean, the cactus is already good, and the cheese is good. That looks nice. Did we, did we put salt in it, right? Yes. Salt and garlic powder. And uh, so this is what we're doing so far. That's what we're dealing with right now. It looks pretty good. Am I too loud? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's I wouldn't care, but our neighbors, we can hear their dogs walk. Oh, hi. How goes it, Captain? All right. Aye, aye, sir. Stay the course. Let me sneak in here real quick. Yeah. No. All right. Oh, you need to get the sink. Yeah, you're on duty for the next one. All right. I am ready the next one. Now, how did you do this, Megan, so nice and successfully? Um, I think a combo of what you did and using your hands, because the hands get, it gets stuck on you. Okay. That doesn't work. It looks so amazing. It smells good. Mm-hmm. The garbanzo flour looks It's a comment by Maverick. I see now, so it gets fried on the outside and gets sealed in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's like a flash fry. Yeah. This is awesome, the um, mini flour. Eric is just like manhandling this. The flower looks you can really see nice it popping. The flower looks really amazing. Um, yeah, it looks like fair food, but way better, and it smells better. Alright, so here I am um, coating the next one. I'm excited um, about this, the garbanzo bean flour. So this is all gluten-free and vegan, and um, vegan cheese, to diet cheese. We have cheddar and then jack. Um, yeah. No, I think we're about ready. Okay. I think we need a lower. Want to pull it out? Nah, uh, it's good for it to be uh, hot. Okay. No, I mean lower the, the next one into the pan. Yeah, let me get these guys out of here. Okay, so this is how we look. Want to get close up on that head? So this is how our first one looks? Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, it we'll, get, it, we'll get the shot. We'll get the shot going by. 
Yeah. Here's a technique. Pizza. They look good. They look amazing. And we were doubters. We were. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Eric was mad hating. So we, we, we went off the beaten path with this all the way. <laughs> well, we, well, the thing was with the water element, because okay, yeah. the reason why we had to put water in there was because we used an egg replacement. Yeah, we couldn't figure out what was wrong. All right, so now we're going to take one of these really big, pretty ones that we manhandled earlier. Woman handled. Huh? Woman no. handled. <laughs> no, this is definitely... <laughs> this is... Um, I wish we had a little bit more, I think, um, batter. <laughs> Um, because I don't know if we're going to have enough to seal this one properly. Okay, but we're going to try. Alright, so and then... Uh, vegan fish and chips. Yeah, vegan fish and chips. This is uh, cactus and chips. Cactus and chips. Cactus and salsa. And we can garnish this with the salsa that we have. And the, um, and the avocado. I'm really excited about this. Let me finish this one before we put that in. Let's see if we can take a lot of the anyways. Um, just because that one's so big. Okay. I'm really excited. Like, just look. Oh, oh, danger, danger. Um, mm. This nice. is difficult. You don't have to fry the whole thing, you know. You can just take one half of it. Well, I, I'm trying to seal the pockets. I really Yeah, am. we're trying to see what happens if we get the whole thing in it. Yeah, we're interested. I think oil's going to seep into the holes. Yeah, I think I need more batter and I'm out. Yeah, it's. So. I, I, I would just cut it in half, otherwise you're going to be eating a mouthful of oil. Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, I can't cut it in half. I yeah, need can. someone else to cut it in half. Just put it down on the on the cutting board and just yeah. slice it in half. Actually, you just throw it in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here, hold on. Let me just try well, it. The oil's going to get in. You can have a big oil practice full balloon. Just saying. Mm, I believe you, but I mean, why waste it? Like we're not gonna be able to eat it. I think well, once yeah. our little improv here. Yeah. The bib. All right. Trying to protect the shirt. <laughs> All right. So we pretty much scraped this clean. No, it's not. That's not clean. <laughs> Here's your toothbrush. All right, and we're really trying. That's a work of art. You know, up here. This one looks great. Oh, look at this. Get, 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 get this, get this on camera. camera. This okay, is amazing. Okay. Look at this. It's like a big Zeppeli. What's the Zeppeli? Look at the flip side. Nice. Oh, you're stuck Italian. All right, ready? Yep. All right, and here's this the... This is where the rubber the hits the road, or the... Wait, 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 wait. Let's try and get this off my hands. And on Let's make side. fritters. Well, this is cacti fritters. This is basically what we're ending up with. Okay. All right. All right, and there we go. Do this. Flip in there. Wow, look at that. Monstrous. Most cacti is not good raw either. This one is an exception. Yeah, the stuff in the store did not look like it would taste good raw at all. It looked very so tough long. and dark green. <laughs> it's alive! All right, I'm going to do the sink thing. Yeah. Thank you everybody for tuning in and being a part. I know it's late and it's also early for some of you. Thank you, Shelly, for modding for us. Thank you, Reverend Cactus. Wow, that was fantastic. For, um, for, uh, it's a lot of noise between here and there, so it's kind of low. So you might want to wait until you get here. Yeah. I'll say it again. Um, I wanted to say, which camera are we on? Oh, we're on the frying one, right? Stay on the frying one. This no. is awesome. No. Yes. Oh, we're on this one? So I want to say um, thanks, Riven, Riven Rock Cactus, for sending us the cactuses. They're really amazing. They're really beautiful. Um, are they fruit or vegetable? Oh, uh, they're vegetable. both. Oh, okay. They're really, really amazing. Um, the texture is great. They're the nicest ones that I've personally seen. I've seen a lot of them in different grocery stores. And thank you, Shelly, for modeling the room. And thank you, everybody, for being part of the conversation. We're not done yet. And I'd like to thank Megan and Howie the Hand and Eric Strutt for all coming on the show and being patient. Um, the one thing I do like about these live shows is that it gives us a chance to show you kind of how we be at home. And that's why I don't like to do a ton of prep. We'll probably start doing more prep 
but I want people to really see what it's like to kind of get dirty and get cooking and what can go wrong and how to stop yourself from having, having things go wrong. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Don't burn her! Ouch! <laughs> no, let's see. Cool, how's this look? All right, let's switch back to the, uh, the uh, cactus can. So ribbon cactus, I've got the cactus part that we're eating is the vegetable one, but the fruit of the cactus is the fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that bad boy. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of clean up here. All right, we're going to get ready to sample these bad boys. people watching me in the kitchen. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's bring them over to the presentation table. Okay, let's get them on over. All right. Okay, so we have avocado, we have garlic, we have stuff that we can... All right, the moment of proof. We can also put some salsa on them as well. I would say try them as is and, and then, yeah, and then try add condiment at a time. Right. I'm going to go get the silverware. It's in the other room at the moment. I don't think you need silverware. You're just going to pop one like a popper? Yeah. <laughs> Temperature. Temperature tester? Temperature yeah, tester? Yes. Temperature tester? Okay. Would you like a... Utensils? I can let it just try it this way as well. So it's pretty good with no condiment. Alright, how would you describe the taste and the flavor and everything? Well, I think the diet cheese really complements the cactus flavor very well. Right. Oh, did you, what type of cheese did you use? Not sure. Mm. I haven't hit the cheese yet. Mm. Can I take a look at The fried cactus brings out the lemony mm -hmm. part of the cactus more than the raw cactus. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It's good. I've got the, um, it does taste like a popper. It does kind of taste like a jalapeno popper, but without the jalapeno. Oh, Howie. Here, the hand. Go. Yeah, this one's definitely jack cheese. It tastes mm. really good. I have the cheddar. And it's really amazing. Mm. It's very lemony. It's very That's fresh. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. You have Jack. Can I show you? Mm -hmm. Are you passing it around now? Okay, here, here's Peter. Mm. It's good. I think the batter can use a little more salt. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm. Definitely citrusy. This is really amazing. Mm -hmm. I like the texture. And um, this would be great in a vegan restaurant for an appetizer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, essentially three things. It's melted, it's the cheese, the diet cheese, mm -hmm. then there's the batter, and then there's the cactus itself, which mm -hmm. you can definitely distinguish all three. Mm -hmm. And it's vegan and gluten free. So, and the batter is really nice for those of you who are gluten free and have issues with batter. This batter came out much better than expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about you are gluten free, right? Your eyes are blasted. Well, what's up with the avocado? Oh, it's not half an avocado. Well, we still have one more piece. And we have salsa, so let's cut it. There. How many? Four? Mmm. Mmm. Fastest, my drink. 
make curries. Mmm. Mm. Why do you just want so, to make curries or cactus? Mm hmm. My bestie's mother is in the mission in San Francisco, so you can go check them out. I have this cactus that we're I don't think here. cutting it is a good idea at all. No? no. <laughs> well, then how are we supposed to eat it? Share it. Yeah. Okay, just share, share it. Yeah. We've already shared this evening. Caring is caring. All right, so I'm gonna just bite it. Okay. Put in one another one. One more, yeah. And you wanna do the salsa in the middle? Where are we not gonna sure. do the salsa? I, I think salsa. Really no, I think if we had this, like, if it was, you wanna do it like a meal, you put the salsa on top. So I'm gonna seal this piece here on the end. Hot. Oh, this is really hot. Hot. <laughs> yeah, we had to wait on that. With well, all right, guys. So, um, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Hey, and we're wrapping up. Thanks for the cactus. I was, I'm so glad to have eaten your cactus. It really changed my opinion of um, working with cactus and eating it. And yeah, good stuff. Eric. Man, cutting this cactus was like butter. <laughs> no, it was cool. New experience. Um, I was excited to try some new food. I've had nopales in uh, in Mexican restaurants before. But this is the first time I've done anything with it. This is really interesting and creative, and uh, very good flavor. Not what I expected. And um, I have to say that the texture is really amazing. Um, it feels like it, it settles well in your stomach. It's not going to upset my stomach. Um, there's a lot of nutrients in it, and uh, I was like I said, I was really intimidated when I opened up. The box of cactus, and so thank you for sending it to us. It's uh, quite tasty, and it's gonna be a new favorite. Like I think this is gonna be something I'd like to incorporate into my diet. How about you, Han? Um, it was interesting. Um, it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's citrusy. Um, it I can compare it to like a pepper. Mm -hmm. I keep comparing it. It's like got got the texture. Similar of a pepper, texture, but different taste. Mm -hmm. But a different Thanks, taste. Nice. So it's really fresh. Like it's a really good summer food. I feel. Like a party food, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they want you to close with a song. Yeah, Super Vegas says, do you have any songs of mine on your machine? Um, it's in my CD player over there. Your CD is, you can put it on if you guys, well actually you can go to your SoundCloud. Shelly has the link, she can put the SoundCloud link up in the room. He, yeah, well, he's just saying you should close. Oh, cool. Can you have a but CD? Th that's not, that CD doesn't have much, like, that's not that. Okay, good. Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Matt. Thank, thank you, Super Viking. Thank you, Donnie NYC. Thank you, Shelly Lynn. Thank you, Ribbon Cactus. Thank you, everybody here. And um, this will be, we'll put it on the site. Um, She's going for it. Uh, I'm not even looking at the camera. Thanks, everybody. I'm reading the wrong screen. But up here is Megan. Here, we'll, we'll prep the next time I'm on the show, and hopefully you guys have an exclusive. It's hot, right? Mm-hmm, but it's so good. Mm. I will wait another minute. It's hot. It's good, though. The, the cooked cabbage just brings out that the citrus, citrus so, so nicely. Mm. So, yeah, thanks everybody. So, I guess this is good night from Vegan Kitchen TV. And thank you, Ruben Cactus, RubenCactus.com. They're on Twitter at Ruben Cactus. You can go to. So much <laughs> <laughs> Vegan Kitchen Nights. Well, we should shout out all of our Twitters. Yeah, mm -hmm. at Vegan Kitchen TV on Twitter. Um, Mega Redfish Yoga, Twitter. At Eric Sharp. At All of It Now. That's the, hand. That's the hand. The hand. And also, um, if you go to vegankitchen.tv, not .com, um, all their links are on the side. And then also, um, in another day or two, we will have this video there live. And you can check out their fantastic videos. Yeah, and Super Viking, we can definitely add in one of my tracks to, to the lead out if we want. Yeah. When we edit it. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So That's right. So when much. we edit the video. Mm. And, uh, Anybody want some interns for being kitchen TV? Miss Selena, when are we going to have an edited video? Uh, I don't um, have time. What's, uh, <laughs> you're, you're not going to edit any videos. So could, could you tell your, your fans why you can't edit any video? Because I have an internship and I'm busy. 
So, and it takes time to prepare stuff like this. Like, I got up today at 1. Well, I got off work at, like, 5 a.m. So I got up and was at the store by 1, grabbing groceries and stuff like that, and prepping and cutting. So it takes a lot of work that goes into it. It takes a whole team, actually, of lovely guests and our tech guy, Howie. So... You're and not going to edit any video ever for your for your fans? I will. Ever? Not You're never going to do that? The They're not good enough for you? In the future, yeah. Yeah. I'm just putting a lot of pressure on that. Yes, Why? he wants you to do more videos. Feed the man a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you are so daring. At first you just manhandle a cactus <laughs> like without gloves, and then you eat cheese off a sharp knife. Mm. Alright guys. <laughs> More stunts on Vegan Kitchen TV next time. I'm going to climb up a ladder and dive off it with a knife in my hand and cut up an avocado and land. <laughs> no! Mm. Oh, thank you, Shelly Lynn, at Shelly Lynn on Twitter.com, too. Thank you. Thank you especially, Shelly, for keeping it together in the chat room and keeping energy going in there. Hold exactly. it down. Hold it down while we were getting set up. Because it's chaotic here, mm -hmm. and Shelly keeps everybody together. Yes, sorry, Shelly, I missed you in there. Like, I said it earlier, but yes, at Shelly Lynn. And a huge shout out to the apron. Oh, Hello. Well, thank you for the apron. Amazing. Robert, again. It saved the day because I am gooey. <laughs> <laughs> I should be able to say that without everybody Avocados laughing. Avocados fried on bread. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes. So thank you, everybody. It was amazing. And um, I guess we're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye.